You and there, I run it with Swanee River right here on RWS Radio and the All Digital Radio Network. It's now the time for, guess what, another episode of Artist Spotlight. But before we get started, let me play that stupid ass intro. Let's go. Rolling with Swanee, Over the phone, I got my boy the most. Because he is the most. He's ad thing. You know what I mean? What up, bro? What's good? Hey, what's good, Swan? Yo, you, yo, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Yo, I'm glad you're here. Because we've been meaning to do this for a minute now. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I know, so I know you know a lot of folks because, you know, super dope club promoter, MC. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, God, explain to, explain to the people, I mean, who's the most? Okay, go for it. Man, uh, the most, I'm a little bit of everything. I'm a, one of the biggest promoters for the LGBT community of New Jersey. Um, but most of all, I rap, like, that's... That's probably my bread and butter right there. Yeah, I feel it. Well, of course yeah. you rap, because you, la- you did your last your last two joints with me. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, man, that, that that is so dope, man. I mean, talk about um about you, you know, promoting clubs, man. Because I think that's a really, really dope thing. You, what, what you doing? Parties and stuff like that? Yeah, out in Jersey and Clifton. In Clifton. And, yeah, um I mean growing up like high school days. I was doing it, I was on like two or three straight teams. Uh-huh. So we was always doing like teams night out parties. We did uh, collaborations, collab parties with uh, DJ Low Man, you know, uh-huh. DJ Frosty. So I was always doing that. <laughs> and obviously I stopped. And you know, I was, I, but I was still partying as always. Okay. And um, like in my recent, like my own years, like two years ago, um, I discovered Jack. <laughs> you you discovered what? The Jack app. Okay, the Jack app. Lord have mercy, the Jack app. Yeah, and um, uh, uh, everybody's on Jack from Nets, who's from Patterson, and it uh-huh. was like, yeah, our kids, the you know, our kids, the porn star, right, flyer, right, and he's having an event with our kids coming out. So I'm like, this looks dope, and I'm like, our kids on my feet, so. <laughs> I'm like, this little boy with a tray, something like that. Yeah. I was like, I might go. I just got my car and everything, so I'm like, I'm about to go out there. So I hit one of my people's up or whatever, and he was like, well, I'm supposed to be going too. He was like, we can ride together. So I picked him up, he went, and it was a dope event. Like, it was a little, the place was a little small, a little hood, but the party was dope. So that's what kept me coming back and back, yeah. back to Madison. And like, lo and behold, like, the guy I knew, he knew everybody out there, so he, when he introduced me to Neff, me and Neff like hit it off instantly, and we've been friends ever since. Oh, yeah, Neff. Yeah, that, that, that's the other dude. Yeah, that's the other. I've been seeing you in the pictures with, right? Yeah, he's the one from, uh, he did the film on myself track with him. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, we've been cool ever since, and I just kept coming back and back and back. And kind of like a year into that, he was going through something with his other promoters. So he asked me to work the door for him one night. Uh-huh. So I worked the door or whatever. And it was like, I didn't come out to work the door. Like, we just got to the party and he asked me, like, can you just work the door? So I worked the door. And he trusted me enough to ask me. He didn't trust somebody else. So I did it. Well, and so, you know, he's like, you want to just join the team? I'm like, hey, I ain't doing nothing else right now. I'm doing work. I can do this on, because at that time, the party was on Friday. I'm like, well, this Friday was nothing. Okay. And next thing you know, I'm part of the team. It's been like two years now. That is so fly. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So, you know, yeah. you, you and I have to collaborate on something real soon. You know that, right? Oh, most definitely. As far as I'm talking about as a party. Yeah. I got, you know what? They, see, I, I could say this now, you know, but uh, I, I got something in the works. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And I just got to tie up some loose ends, man. And once that's tied up, then this, this. What I'm gonna do, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna say it like that. It's gonna be crazy, man. If 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 all goes well, you know, then God, you know, shines his light on me and helps me with this, this is gonna be really fly. Yeah, most definitely. 
Word. So okay, so now um let's fast let's fast forward. You do music too. You a rapper. Yep. So all right, I played before this, I played your feeling feeling myself joint. I played that. Okay, before this interview is, you know, you know I played that. So now you got this new joint, right? That, that you did at, at you know at my studio. I just like saying it. I just like saying it like that. <laughs> or, yeah, um okay, um uh, it's supposed to be that post to be joint, in which I really, really like. Um, yeah, the post to be joint, man, and like what was the concept about that, man? Like, how did you get that? I don't know, it's just like <laughs> And the thing is, with the post to be joint, uh-huh. when I first heard Omari, when Omari first dropped that song, Post to Be, I automatically was just rapping over whoever was on the song. Uh-huh. So like, I could, I could hear Omari's verse, I was just rapping over his. Like, I didn't even hear what the fuck he had to say. I was like, yo, I like this beat. I like the. When I heard the hook, I came up with my own shit. So that's when I was like, I came up with my own verses or whatever. I was really like this. So I had been. Laid the bars and everything down, wrote them down and stuff, but I just haven't been to the studio. It's like, every time I tried to go to the studio or was supposed to go to the studio, something came up. And then it's like, I'm busy, and the person I'm working with be busy, so I mean, it's like that was life. And I finally got in the studio. Like, like my new job, basically, coming into my new job, this, um, I just passed 30 days there. Okay. I came in with, um, I was like, whoa, studio. That's okay. it. There you go. You know I'm here yeah. before. You, you know me, so it's all good. No, it's all good. So, so um, like, yeah. So let me ask you, man. How did you like get started with with, with doing music, man? Like, who inspires you to do music? Uh, inspiration. I got a lot, like Biggie, obviously. Well, come on, we big boys, man. You know what I'm saying? We like Biggie. Exactly, like Biggie, that's that's one of my faves, definitely is that. Um, and then you know, I grew up pop, so I got some influence from pop. But um, growing up, I was a lot of like Biggie, pop, Jay Z, Nas, not too much, but a couple. You know, Nas had a couple things that pop uh-huh. that I was into. Um, like DMX. Ew, DMX really the the the, the um crack. Yeah, just his, his attitude, his he just don't give a fuck, and that's how I be trying to tell him. Like, I, don't, I don't really care. He, well, I come down, but let's be first. He should change but, his name to he should change his name to DMX the crackhead. Oh God, that's his business. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, of course, I mean, I, 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 listen, man. Look, I'm get, look, I, I'm supposed to be going to uh um a Rough Rider concert in Long Island. Okay, with my homegirl Peg Star. Okay, and I don't mind. I, and, she, and she's she's part of Rough Riders, so she gonna get me backstage. So I just want to see what he doing back there. That's dope. Yo, one of my teachers used to be part of Rough Riders. Like, really? Yeah, I, I, I just want to yeah. see. I just want to see what he doing in, the, in backstage. Is he smoking crack? What he doing? What you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I talk about yeah. everybody. I don't give a fuck. Everybody know I love female rappers, so of course I grew up on Lil Kelly. Ah, uh, nice Brooklyn. Eve. Yeah, man, Brooklyn. I mean, Brooklyn is that a lot. Eve. Uh, I love me some Remy, right. but overall, like Sticky, that's that's my bitch right there. That's my main right there. My well, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I'm not, like, Nikki, oh, my God, what's she doing for me? I'm not but, doing nothing, I mean, she did it for me growing up, but, like, now, Nikki, she's doing it for me for these last couple years. Right. And, I mean, I love them all, you know. That's what's uh, up. Hey, hey, even back to Nikki Light, like, Nikki Light is coming out, I'm like, woo. Yeah. I'm all that boy, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, 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 Queen Latifah, yeah, she's from Jersey, man. That's yeah, let me tell you something. Can, can I just tell you one thing? Yo, that I, 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 well, I, every, well, people who know me know this, but you know, Queen Latifah is the only woman that I would go straight for. Really? Yeah, I, I have this, I have this love for Queen Latifah ever since um, her first, her uh, rap in my madness, that first track. I've I've been so in love with Queen Latifah, man, that if she was to walk up to me and go, listen, you my man, and we're going to get married, I'm going to be like, okay. 
I'm not gonna. I, yes, yes, yes. I love. I'm in love with her. I've always been in love with her. I ain't gonna stop. Well, anyway, enough about me and my dumb shit. All right, so okay, of course you're from Jersey and you're doing parties and you know you're doing you're doing the damn thing. So let me ask you this: like, I'm sure, I'm sure, there's a lot of haters out there. Yeah, too many. Uh huh. I'm sure. I don't know, like, nobody like really getting beat high. They just show me love when they see me and talk shit later on. Good. Good. So they don't really fake me, but I mean, it do come to my music, and then they get like it gets so crazy. So So are you working on a mixtape, an album, or what's what's up with that? That's that's yeah, that's up next. I'm just trying to really I'm just trying to get these freaks out pick off that I got already written down. I wanna get those out. And then I wanted to start working on my mixtape. I want my mixtape to be all original music. I don't okay, see, I was going to ask you that. I was going to ask you that. I was going to ask you that because yeah, I'm so. getting sick and tired of, you know, this non original. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get to, So I'm just trying to get the shit up. Because I got some tough shit. I'm trying uh-huh. to get that off first. Right. And then my mixtape's going to be all original. Because I want my mixtape to be me. That's, that's what I'm going to profit off. Okay, exactly. Yeah. That's how you're going to get some bread, of course. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be free. My mixtape's going to be free, but. I mean, that's how I'm going to get heard, really, when they hear the shit I'm do. Right. Right, so, um, like, what kind of music you like to listen to? Like, after, you know, a hard day's work, you come home and shit, you put your stuff down and everything, you want to sit back, maybe glass I mean, of wine, maybe a beer, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Like, what you like to listen to? Honestly, like, I'm a rapper. I'm an R&B dude, so I'm, R&B, I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper. I mean, I listen to rap, too, but the thing is, it's been a rapper, you try not to... Really listen to too much rap because you try not to come out sounding like nobody. Right. So I, I usually, I mean, you catch me listening to anything from that to like one twelve jagged edge era, like stuff like that. I listen okay. to everything. Yeah, well, you like well, you like the old school shit, right? Yeah, I like old school. I like new school. I like reggae, um, gospel now here and there, depending on how I'm feeling. Like I can right, see right, right. my mood, what I listen to. Right. But I'm gonna listen to gospel while I'm drinking, but... Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess it depends on my mood. Huh? Right. I'm saying that's dope. I mean, you're a well-rounded dude. Yeah, so I like a little bit of hate thing. I don't really listen to it. I'm gonna say, if it sounds good and it's hot, you gotta pop and beat, and somebody's telling the track whatever type of track it is, I'm gonna beat into it. That's what's up. So, like, okay, when you coming back to the studio to record? Oh, uh, I was thinking... I might, be, I might get it next weekend. Most definitely. Yeah. All right. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, we, we could definitely get that popping. So listen, man. Okay, now, your latest uh, freestyle joint, what's the name of it? Uh, I just dropped two in one night. And I, was I know. I, I, night, yeah, I bugged out when you did that. Yeah, I did that because uh, I was having technical difficulties. I was, I was supposed to drop close to me. Right. I was having a technical difficulty. But yeah, I ended up but, dropping, yeah. um, SoundCloud wasn't the, having it. SoundCloud was having it. And I so I ended up dropping the, uh, the shit freestyle on SoundCloud. The shit, yeah, the shit freestyle, yeah. That's the one that I'm going to play. As a matter of fact, I'm going to play um, Post to Be. Then I'm going to play the shit freestyle. I'm going to give you... Look at it, You got three tracks in one night. How's that? <laughs> That's dope as hell, man. <laughs> That's dope. So let, let me ask you... <laughs> Let, let me ask you this last question, all right? How do you feel about the state of hip hop and where it's going? Like, do you think, do you, like, 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 are you feeling people like Young Thug and, and, and Migos and, and, and some of these dudes? Are you feeling these dudes? Like, how do you feel about the nonsense they be talking? I feel like hip hop is, it's like every time it's growing, it's taking steps back. Uh huh. Because I feel like it's even from like back when Soldier Boy came out, you know, Soulja Boy, but I just feel like Soldier Who, Soldier Boy, Soldier Who. Soulja 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 I mean, that, that dude is so that's that dude is so irrelevant. I mean, he's not yeah. even like. But come you know, on, he man. came out. He doesn't even. You know what the fuck he was saying on his song? And it's like this the shit that's making it. Uh, he said Soldier Boy, some shit. Watch me, watch me roll some shit. I don't know. You but know like, what? Let me tell you something. I'm like, these motherfuckers can make it out. I can make it. And you know what? That's you know, exactly. when you really start rapping more. Like, really getting into it and taking it so serious. Because I'm like, 
these the niggas I let in the game. Right. Like, ain't no fucking way. I'm like, I'm better than them. Well, and either. I know I but but, but so let me tell you this. But, but let me tell you. Let me tell you this. Either either them dudes are sucking some dick, or they taking it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, they, get, they get put. I don't care. I told you most. I don't care. I talk about. Every, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't. Ain't, ain't nobody gonna do a motherfucking thing over here, man. You come to Brooklyn with that bullshit, you see what's gonna happen. But I'm just saying, though. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, this industry pisses me off that they're gonna put out this nonsense when we have. Dope artists. Dope, we have time. dope artists Please. that are literally spitting about something. But you want to put I out know. this fucking rah, 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 rah. This, these nonsense, these stupid ass motherfuckers. They ain't got no sense. They probably ain't got no fucking education. Probably never finished high school. Probably never even finished public school. You know what I'm saying? And with which is fucked up. You gonna you gonna give them fucking millions of dollars to fucking mumble on records? Are you kidding me? Yeah, motherfuckers got all this money can't even read the contract. You know what I'm but, saying? Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna just try to, I redo like one, at least one showcase a month. I'm yeah, that's, that's, a, yeah, that's a good thing. Head. That's a good thing. Yeah, well, yeah, you let I mean, me know. You let me know. I'll come and host one of them for you. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, um, man. Just, just trying to get that off the ground. And especially with my parties and stuff. Not to take your, not to take away from talking about music, but my parties, we try to do stuff that nobody has done. Right. Like, we don't do like speed dating. We don't get light mail auctions like we. <laughs> oh wow! We don't get a lot of stuff that you never really heard of the club doing, and I think that was dope. Like, the mail auction was basically everybody bid on. Like we had a couple mail up there, you bid on them. Okay. And then um, once everybody put the money in the pot, whoever bid basically wins. Nigga, let me tell you something, bro. Yeah. Bro, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. If you're trying to raise money, right, and you put me on that stage, you probably get a dollar thirty-nine. It is what it is. Okay, okay, awkward silence. I guess that's right then. <laughs> it's true. If you was to put, but but most, I mean, let's be honest, man. You put me up on that stage, you're gonna get a dollar thirty-nine. I'm, you know, you, you oh, you probably get you know enough for for a slice of pizza or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, see, I ain't. Did you get the Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. So, listen, man, we, let, let's, get, let's get into your music. You know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate you calling into the show. And, um, yes, yeah, man, so, you know what we're going to do? Um, introduce both of the songs, and we're going to get right into it. But before you do that, let everybody give everybody your social networks, you know, your Twitters and your I Facebooks and all that good stuff. Damn, I just hit my hand. You know, and, um... Then we'll go and just go right into your, your music. Yeah, yo, this is your boy the most. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr at Big Most Swag. That's B R G M O S W A G G. Big Most Swag. No underscore none of that. And my Facebook page is Marquise Jones. That's M A R Q U O I S E. Brown, actually, it's Marquise Brown now. My Jones, I believe it. Um, about it, social media. Uh, yeah, man, check out my new tracks right now. It's the shit freestyle. Have you ever heard of a uh, future song shit? Yeah, I just did a freestyle for that. Check that out and post the big freestyle. You heard that, oh, y'all. Man. You heard that. So, this is the most, man. I'm Swanee River. Hit shit freestyle. Let's go. Yeah. 